Today we're going to look at uh, creating our first control in uh, WPF and XAML. And I think the simplest one to create probably would be a button. So just click on New Project. Make sure WPF application is selected. And we'll call this uh, XAML button. Click OK. And we come up with uh, <coughs> what might be an incredibly scary looking development system, especially if you've only used Windows Forms so far. And that it's somewhat similar in that you have a toolbox and you have a design window, but the design window is way too little and underneath it there's this weird looking code that we have no idea initially what any of that does so probably the first thing to do is to just take a deep breath and uh, repeat the mantra inch by inch everything's a cinch yard by yard it's very hard and there's aspects of this that's very similar to uh, to Windows Forms and that you can just go to the toolbox and drag a, a control over and drop it on the designer and it'll create the uh, button and there'll be a properties window the same as in WinForms you can click on the A to Z and get all the properties uh, in alphabetical order which is the way I prefer to do it rather than to try and find them in categories but you'll notice also within the uh, XAML uh, view you'll have a tag that's generated, a button tag and it'll have content that says button and uh, maybe I'll hit enter so we can see the whole thing and a height, a horizontal alignment, a margin and a name of button one, a vertical alignment of top, and a width of 75. And if you look at the what the text is in the button, you notice it says button and the content says button. So we can change this in the XAML to say something like hi there. And the window is probably a little too low to see it, but right as we were typing it in, the high there actually changed in the button, uh, character for character. And another way we can do this <coughs> is we can have uh, a closing tag of slash button. and then get rid of the uh, slash here that says it's a standalone tag and we could take the hi there and put it in here and get rid of the content attribute and you see the hi there is still in the button so this acts almost identically to uh, HTML type tag where the values between the open and closing uh, uh, tags. But one of the things I want to point out on this too is the margin. So if we start dragging this button around you'll notice the margin properties change. and a couple of them are always zero zero I think that's because of this horizontal alignment and vertical alignment so we'll probably get rid of that and then we have four margin values and we move this around and you'll notice we have four margin properties Maybe I'll put this on a line by itself. And actually, this is so short now, I can probably put that on a line by itself too. 
so we have the the name of button one which isn't a great name I like to use a Hungarian notation and make this like BTN hi there and to get back to the margin property you notice if I move this to the left so if I can actually move this down so we can see it at the same time if I move this to the left the first value gets real little and the third value gets quite a bit bigger and if I move it up the second value gets uh, very small and the fourth value gets very little so we can probably deduce from this that's what's happening is that this is clockwise and the first uh, parameter is is the left margin the second parameter is the uh, top the third parameter is the right margin and the fourth parameter is the bottom and that's interesting because it's almost exactly like CSS and X uh, HTML but in CSS the first parameter is the top the second one is the right the third one is the bottom and the fourth one is the left so in CSS the the property value pair starts with 12 o'clock if you're thinking of it a, a clock going clockwise every 15 minutes and the uh, in the attribute for the button in XAML it starts at 9 o'clock and you're probably asking yourself if they're going to have almost identical name and properties why didn't they make them work almost identically so it's not confusing and I think the answer to that is probably the location at their head at the time they designed it and by that I don't mean in the clouds <laughs> but this is probably enough uh, to absorb for our, our uh, inch by inch to slowly becoming total uh, WPF XAML masters. I hope you uh, learned a lot from this tutorial and enjoyed it and uh, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe.